This feature is powered by the National Gas Company of Trinidad and Tobago at the forefront of energy and Digicel. Digicel better together. Hey, welcome back to the Magnificent 7 Fun Fact Series with me, Hotford Harmony, on TTT. We've made it all the way through the row of distinguished buildings at Queen's Park West. And today, we're on to Stolmeyer's Castle, the seventh of the Magnificent 7. Though this is among the five out of seven that were built in 1904, it was the very first to be started and completed in the area. It's one of those houses that symbolize the wealth of the early 20th century cocoa industry. It was built by Charles F. Stolmeyer, the son of Conrad F. Stolmeyer, who actually is the man responsible for introducing coconut cards to Port of Spain. The house was designed by a Scottish man named Robert Gillies, and it's said to mimic a wing of the Balmoral Castle in Scotland. This extravagant design didn't match the modest taste of Mrs. Stolmeyer, so she gave it as a wedding present to her son, the younger Conrad Stolmeyer, instead. It was his wife who named it Killani, after the town in Ireland where she dreamt of honeymooning. Because it is quite literally a castle, Killani was chosen to house US forces during the Second World War, quite like its next door neighbor, Whitehall. During this time, it became more popularly known as Stolmeyer's Castle. It remained in the Stolmeyer family for 68 years before being bought by Jesse Mahavir. Seven years later, it became the property of the government of Trinidad and Tobago. Consistently maintaining the structure's standards has been no easy task over the years, but since a major restoration project, Stolmeyer's castle was passed on from the Office of the Prime Minister to the Ministry of Arts and Culture in 2018. It has been opened for public use for events, tours, and exhibitions. The Italian marvel of its exterior the Guyanese purple heartwood and other imported materials are beautifully elaborate in design, and a step into Stolmeyer's castle takes you into another world frozen in time. As perhaps one of the best known of the Magnificent Seven buildings, Stolmeyer's castle is one that stays in mind when we think about the built history of Port of Spain. And there we have it, seven magnificent buildings, each with their own stories that speak to a part of our heritage for the last century and change. That's that on that. Crick crack, monkey break his back for a piece of pomerac. Wire Ben, story end. This feature was powered by the National Gas Company of Trinidad and Tobago at the forefront of energy and Digicel. Digicel better together.